Hi Greedy3Ds, so recently I did a video of an update to my man cave and one of the questions that came back to me was, do you ever print anything useful? Well who can say that those wonderful Marvel and superhero and sci-fi things are not useful? But yes, I have actually printed the odd thing that is, or can be considered, useful. <music> So I've got an electric car and here's my EV charger on the side of the house. No problems there, you'd say it all looks good. Well, this is what happens at night time when I try to charge my car. Yeah, a really bright blue light. Now you can't turn this off in the app, you can't disable it on the actual box itself. And I'm a little bit worried that the neighbours and the main road that passes the, the house is going to be distracted by it. So I'm going to take a few measurements of the area that I need to cover and I'm going to have a little think about what I can design to stop this light from showing. So I've gone over to Tinkercad and here you can see I've designed a little cover to go on the end of my EV charger to cover it. Now yeah I could have just put a black bag on it but my god that would have looked messy. So Tinkercad is a free program, it's online, you just go to tinkercad.com and it's easy to use, it's really simple and there's plenty of tutorial videos out there if you're not sure. And once you've done your design you can export this as an STL file which is a file that your 3D printer would love to see and love to print for you and that's what I've done here I've exported this as an STL and what I'm going to do is move it across onto the Creality Slicer which is the slicer for my K1 printer so let's input the file into the slicer and tell it to slice and slicing will tell the printer exactly how to make this particular shape and then I'm just going to send it across to my K1 and print it I'm using some Jam J high speed PLA and I'm printed at 500 millimeters per second so this whole print took about 40 minutes to do absolutely incredible let's have a quick look at it printed <laughs> And I've also done an end to the top of it so that I've got another end as you will see. So one end will go into the charger and one end will go into the charging lead. And here's the little end now that I also made using the Tinkercad software. Now that it's all printed, this is what we've got. I've glued the two pieces together. I've done it this way so that I don't need any support. It just prints, lovely. Look at that, 40 minutes of a print and voila, it is in there. So let's just remind ourselves of the problem. Nighttime charging looked like there was a fire truck or an ambulance parked outside the house. It's directly opposite the neighbors. It's directly opposite a main road. I'm just a bit worried it's gonna distract people or cars. Well now, once I put the cover on, this is what it looks like. So I can still see the light and I think that's really important because if I've got a problem I want to know that I've got a problem if it's got a red light for example. But at least it's not going to dazzle the neighbours of the main road. So I think this video just goes to show that you can solve at least a couple of life's problems using a 3D printer. Hope you've enjoyed this. Stay tuned. See you next time on Greedy3D. Mm -hmm.